Have you ever considered that simply choosing where to keep money in your home can lead to difficulties? This seemingly harmless act can create a vicious cycle of lack that is difficult to escape. Ancient Buddhist teachings warn us that certain places can drain the positive energy of money, blocking the flow of prosperity and jeopardizing your financial stability. Today, I want to share with you not just advice, but a condition of caution. If you continue to make these mistakes, you risk undermining your financial future. Without even realizing it, you may be storing money in seven places in your home that attract negative energy and lead to your isolation. Every minute you put off correcting the situation, you are representing everything that has already been created. But don't worry, you still have the opportunity to change it. By avoiding the places and applying the Buddhist teachings I am talking about, you can completely change the energy of your home. As a result, your financial life will begin to prosper like never before. Doors will open to new opportunities, security, and growth. Remember, prosperity begins with small steps, and this video could be the turning point you've been waiting for. Before we continue, if you'd like to see these powerful ideas reach more people and continue to receive transformative content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't get new content. Let's create some positive energy together. Comment below. I am creating a flow of prosperity in my home and life or I am ready to accept abundance in all aspects of my light. Together, we strive to prosper. According to Buddhist tradition, the space that surrounds us has a profound impact on all aspects of our lives, including both the spiritual and material. Where we place our money can play a key role in ensuring stability and abundance. The energy of a place can either support prosperity or create obstacles to financial isolation. In Buddhist philosophy, conditions should be observed when storing money so as not to disturb the electrical balance and not to hinder the flow of prosperity. Consider why some of these places can have a negative effect and promote financial prosperity. When we neglect the Soviet dead, we can accidentally close the path of abundance in our lives. Have you ever wondered why, even with good financial planning, money quickly disappears? The reason may be closer than you think, in the place where you store it. The wrong place in the house can form negative energy that repels prosperity and leads to shortages. Many of these places, which are modern, comfortable, and safe, can actually hinder the circulation of positive energy. Buddhist teachings warn against underestimating our entire financial environment. Before moving on, take some time to reflect on how your home can influence good flows. Analyze how the energy of your space depends on your financial stability. You will learn about seven places where you should follow the rules for storing money. With this knowledge, you will be able to change the energy of your home and create conditions for the free flow of abundance in your life. Remember that change begins with awareness, and you are already on your way to a more prosperous future. Now, realizing what is in our home for implementing financial changes, let's discuss in what conditions you should not store money. These at first safe look at the regions can slightly reduce your financial costs, leading to a lack of funds. Let's get acquainted with each of them to understand why Buddhist wisdom warns us against using them. In Buddhist teachings, this detail of our life and environment has a meaning, and an empty wallet does not matter. At first glance, this object may seem insignificant, but in spiritual terms, it symbolizes absence, lack, and emptiness. In Buddhism, emptiness itself has a deep profound meaning, but if it is engaged in material things, like a wallet, it can attract a deficit and block the flow of prosperity energy. 
An empty wallet becomes a serious energetic stagnation. It provides in our measures the idea of lack, creating a field of deficiency around itself. Every time we appear or become pregnant in the hands of this wallet, we subconsciously strengthen the position that something is missing, which causes anxiety and respect. The energy of money, which should flow freely, is closed, solving financial problems. Buddhist philosophy teaches us to respect any energy, including material goods. To avoid stagnation and attract problem, you should always keep at least a small amount in your wallet. This symbolizes the movement of energy and openness to abundance. An empty wallet, on the contrary, represents a stop, which can lead to difficulties not only in material but also in spiritual life. In Buddhist philosophy, a mirror symbolizes a reflection of our inner state and the energies that surround us. Keeping money under a mirror can be filled with deep meanings and consequences. In this context, a mirror is not just an interior item, but also a powerful tool for self-knowledge. Keeping money under a mirror creates an unconscious conflict. It reflects not only physical money, but also our fears, doubts, and limitations. The energy that penetrates our space through mirrors can be dual. They are able to capture and amplify any vibrations around. Therefore, if money is kept under a mirror, this can lead to undesirable consequences. Instead of attracting abundance, we may actually be exacerbating our feelings of scarcity as the mirror reflects these financial limitations, reinforcing them in our minds. In addition, there is an understanding in Buddhism that money itself is not evil, but its improper use and storage can create karmic consequences. Storing money under a mirror can interfere with the free flow of energy, making it difficult to attract abundance. Buddhist teachings encourage us to pay attention to how we perceive our surroundings and what we store in our space. To create harmony and attract prosperity, it is important to avoid places like the space under the mirror and find more healing and positive ways to handle our financial energy. In Buddhist philosophy, cleanliness and order in the space around us play an important role in our inner state and, therefore, in our financial well-being. Storing money in a closet with dirty clothes is not only a practical imprudence, but also a symbolic obstacle to prosperity. This story opens up many facets of how physical space relates to our thoughts and emotions. A closet full of dirty clothes can represent not only clutter, but also the emotional baggage we carry around with us. Dirty clothes are often associated with past experiences, unresolved conflicts, and negative emotions. By storing money in such a space, we are symbolically placing our finances in an environment that is saturated with these old energies. This can lead to money, under the influence of confused and heavy emotions, losing its ability to flow freely and multiply. Buddhist teachings emphasize the importance of clarity of mind and purity of heart in attracting abundance. When we surround ourselves with physical objects that represent old wounds or unresolved situations, we are actually blocking the flow of prosperity. Dirty clothes in the closet can remind us to cleanse not only the space around us, but also our inner world. Clearing not only the physical but also the emotional load helps to create harmony and balance. It is also important to understand that money is an energy that requires care and attention. Storing it in a closet with dirty clothes can create a negative energy field that repels prosperity and attracts scarcity. It is as if we are sending a message to the universe that we do not value and respect our finances by placing them in a place that is filled with clutter and old memories. Thus, the story of money stored in a closet with dirty clothes encourages us to look at our habits, 
how we handle finances and how the surrounding space reflects our inner state. Awareness of this interaction opens the way to change and transform both the material and spiritual aspects of our lives. In Buddhist philosophy, every space that surrounds us plays an important role in shaping our inner energy and, accordingly, in our material well-being. Keeping money on the windowsill is a topic that reveals not only practical but also deep spiritual aspects. The windowsill, as an intermediate space between the inner world of the house and the outside world, symbolizes balance and interaction between different energies. The windowsill is a place where light and darkness, nature and civilization, the inner and the outer meet. It reminds us that in life there is always a connection between what we have inside and what is happening outside. Keeping money on the windowsill may seem harmless, but according to Buddhist teachings, it can represent deeper problems. The windowsill is a place where space is open to external energies, and thus money stored in this place can be affected by changing external circumstances. In Buddhism, great importance is attached to the awareness of the flow of energy that permeates our life. When we keep money on the windowsill, we actually expose it to external factors, whether changes, noise, and chaos of the surrounding world. This openness can create a feeling of instability and uncertainty in financial well-being. The energy of money requires protection and care, and if it is in such an open place, it can lose its power and attractiveness. Moreover, the windowsill can also symbolize a frivolous attitude towards money. By placing it in such an accessible and public space, we seem to be saying that our finances do not deserve to be taken seriously. This can lead to the money losing its value in our eyes, and, ultimately, it can lead to its leakage. Buddhist teachings teach us to respect the resources we have and treat them with gratitude. Keeping money on the windowsill can contradict this principle, creating an energetic space where money can easily disappear. So, keeping money on the windowsill can be both a negative and a positive experience, depending on our attitude towards this space. Buddhism teaches us to be mindful of our actions and intentions. Understanding the connection between physical space and our inner state can help us create a harmonious environment that will help attract abundance. In Buddhist philosophy, emptiness is often seen not as a lack, but as a space full of potential. Empty containers, be they cans, bottles, or other vessels, can serve as powerful symbols in our financial and spiritual journeys. While we may perceive them as useless, Buddhist teachings invite us to reflect on the deep meaning of emptiness and how it can contribute to our prosperity. Emptiness in the context of finance is not simply the absence of money, it is a state that can open the door to new opportunities. When we store money in empty containers, we are symbolically expressing our intentions and expectations. However, if these containers remain empty, it can be a signal that we are not ready to accept abundance into our lives. Emptiness becomes a barrier that we create ourselves, refusing to see the opportunities that surround us. Buddhist teachings emphasize that how we perceive emptiness is directly related to our internal state. If we view empty cans and bottles as a symbol of lack, this can create an energy of scarcity that will repel abundance. Instead of being open to new possibilities, we can become locked in our fears and doubts. Emptiness can become the space in which we learn to let go of attachments and expectations, allowing new flows of abundance to enter our lives. In Buddhist philosophy, every element of our life can be the subject of deep reflection and symbolize important lessons. Shoes, as an everyday item that we wear, have their own meaning, and storing money in shoes is an interesting aspect that can be considered from a spiritual perspective. Shoes serve not only as protection for our feet, but also as a link to the world. Each step we take determines our path, and thus shoes become a symbol of our movement through life. 
However, storing money in shoes can indicate that we do not quite understand how to handle our resources. This place we choose to store our finances reflects our inner world and attitude towards abundance. In Buddhism, the importance of choosing the right space to store money is a fundamental principle. Shoes, despite their practicality, are a place associated with dirt, difficulty, and movement. When we place our finances in our shoes, we symbolically associate them with this dirty aspect of our lives. Money becomes slowed down and loses its energy when it is in an environment that is not conducive to its well-being. This can lead to us feeling financially limited, creating a barrier to abundance. Buddhist teachings emphasize the importance of being aware of how we interact with the world around us. Storing money in shoes can be a manifestation of an unconscious attitude towards our own resources. We may not realize that such actions reflect internal fears and insecurities. Instead of using money as a means to achieve our goals, we may inadvertently create an aura of lack and anxiety around it. On the other hand, to attract financial abundance, it is worth creating a more appropriate place to store your resources. It can be a space filled with positive emotions and symbols of prosperity. It is important to develop awareness and treat your money with respect and attention. Money, like shoes, should be a tool that helps us move forward, not a source of stress and anxiety. In conclusion, Storing money in your shoes is not just a matter of practicality, but a matter that requires deep awareness. Buddhist philosophy teaches us to pay attention to how our actions and choice of space affect our financial well-being. Our attitude towards money is a reflection of our inner state, and by choosing a more appropriate place to store it, we can create space for abundance and prosperity. Buddhist teachings emphasize the importance of cleanliness and order in both our inner and outer worlds. Storing money in a trash can may seem insignificant or even comical, but in fact, this action is filled with deep symbolism that requires serious analysis. The junk drawer is a place where we put everything that no longer serves us, that we want to forget or leave in the past. This space is overflowing with unnecessary items, scraps of old memories and remnants of negative emotions. When money is stored in such an environment, it takes on the energy of chaos and disorder. This choice can symbolize our attitude to financial well-being and abundance. Perhaps we perceive money as something unimportant that can be easily thrown away, ignoring its true value. In addition, it should be noted that the junk drawer is often used to accumulate unnecessary things and old grievances. Thus, when we put money in this space, we can unconsciously associate it with our internal conflicts and stress. Money, which could be a source of joy and freedom, becomes a symbol of our fears and insecurities. This creates a negative cycle in which money loses its value and turns into heaviness. Buddhist philosophy invites us to reconsider our habits and consciously approach the choice of places to store our resources. Given the symbolism of the trash bin, it is clear that money should be kept in a space that encourages its growth and prosperity. This could be a place filled with positive energy, such as special boxes or wallets that we perceive as sacred to our resources. Creating order and cleanliness in these spaces will help us clear our thoughts and attract good luck and abundance. It is important to develop awareness of how we interact with money and the space around us. Keeping funds in a trash bin symbolizes an unwillingness to take care of our finances and leads to the creation of negative energy. Instead, it is worth focusing on creating a harmonious environment in which money will be perceived as a means to achieve goals and dreams, and not as a source of anxiety. So, choosing a place to store money is not just a practical decision, 
but a deep symbol of our attitude to abundance and prosperity. By taking Buddhist teachings into account, we can understand that it is important to choose a space that supports financial well-being and avoid storing money in places that are associated with negative energy and clutter. This will help us to establish a more harmonious relationship with money and attract prosperity into our lives that will flow freely and bring joy. It is best to choose a calm and harmonious place to store your money. Where money can grow and circulate peacefully without the pressure and anxiety associated with everyday worries. If your goal is to change your financial energy, it is extremely important to be conscious of where you store your money, taking Buddhist principles into account. Such places not only provide protection for your funds, but also strengthen the positive energy flow that promotes prosperity. The right choice of location allows you to maintain a stable flow of abundance, eliminating possible energy barriers that can lead to shortages or losses. Here are some useful recommendations on where to best store money to attract prosperity and financial stability. Money should be in a safe and protected place. Buddhist wisdom says that money is best kept in places that support its free flow and multiplication, without stress or fear of loss. This is not only physical protection, but also the creation of energetic balance. A calm, positive place to store funds is the key to attracting abundance. The right place allows you to maintain harmony between the material and spiritual worlds, helping to avoid blocks that can hinder financial growth. Keeping money in an envelope with the inscription for wealth is not just a practical measure, but also a spiritual act rooted in Buddhist teachings on intention and energy. Buddhism reminds us that every action we take, even such an everyday one as saving money, is associated with a certain energy. When we sign an envelope with such an intention, we direct positive energy into our lives, creating the conditions for prosperity. The inscription for wealth helps focus our consciousness on attracting abundance. In Buddhism, this is a conscious step associated with the concept of sankalpa, pure intention. Money stored in such an envelope becomes a symbol of not just accumulation, but also a means of maintaining harmony, growth, and well-being. An envelope with such an inscription should be kept in a clean, quiet place filled with positive energy. This space should be free from chaos and disorder so that the energy of wealth can flow smoothly and without obstacles. Thus, the envelope becomes not only a place for money, but also a tool for strengthening the spiritual connection with the energy of abundance. Storing money in a wallet with Chinese coins according to Feng Shui is closely related to the Buddhist philosophy of harmony and energy balance. These coins, symbols of ancient wisdom, carry the energy of luck and well-being. In Buddhism, special importance is attached to how we interact with the energy of money. Not only the amount of funds is important, but also their movement in life, the way they are stored. A wallet with Chinese coins becomes a kind of talisman that activates the flow of prosperity. Chinese coins are traditionally associated with the element of metal, which symbolizes stability and fortitude. By storing them together with money, we not only protect our funds, but also increase them, directing energy towards growth and development. In the Buddhist understanding, money is energy that must be respected. A wallet with feng shui coins helps to maintain the correct attitude towards finances, not to get attached to them, but also not to allow disorder. This ritual of storing money serves as a reminder of the importance of spiritual awareness, wise use of resources and creating conditions for the free and harmonious movement of the energy of abundance in our lives. 
Storing money in wooden boxes or safes made of wood is a deeply symbolic act that, in the Buddhist tradition, reflects harmony with the natural elements and the laws of the universe. Wood in Buddhist philosophy represents life, growth, and stability. It is associated with the energy of the earth, an element that carries the power of grounding, support, and prosperity. When we choose to store money in wooden items, we are not just creating a physical place to store it, but also creating an energetic space that promotes financial well-being. Wood, as a material, has a soft, living energy that supports harmony and balance. In Buddhist practice, it is important to avoid extremes, whether it is excessive attachment to material things or complete disregard for them. Wooden boxes or safes, as opposed to metal and cold storage, create a feeling of warm and safe shelter for money. Such a place not only protects material resources, but also symbolizes the natural flow of wealth energy, which should not be constrained or restricted. Buddhist teachings emphasize the importance of keeping our material possessions, including money, in places that help to preserve and increase positive energy. Storing money in a wooden box helps to avoid the stagnation of energy that can occur if finances are in the wrong place. Wood, as an element of nature, has the ability to maintain a continuous flow of energy, which prevents the creation of blocks and obstacles to prosperity. In addition, wood symbolizes durability and strength. Unlike temporary solutions or objects that lose their properties over time, wood continues to strengthen and develop. This symbolism is important in the context of storing money, since money, like energy, should be able to grow and flourish. Storing it in a wooden box creates space for it to steadily increase and preserve, which reflects a fundamental principle of Buddhist philosophy. Abundance comes from stability and inner peace, not from stress and fear. Buddhist wisdom also teaches that money should not become a source of anxiety or fear. Storing them in a calm, natural material such as wood helps to develop an attitude of respect for money as a tool, rather than an object of greed or attachment. It is important to perceive material resources as a means to maintain harmony and well-being, rather than as a goal to be achieved at any cost. Wooden boxes help to create this feeling of respect and gratitude, reducing the internal tension associated with money. Finally, wood as a material symbolizes protection and reliability. Storing money in a wooden safe or box reflects the idea that material goods should not only be safe, but also surrounded by positive energy. Buddhist teachings emphasize that material well-being is directly related to our internal state. Keeping money in places that are filled with kindness, naturalness, and peace helps to maintain peace in our thoughts and decisions related to finances. So choosing a wooden box or safe to store your money in is not just a matter of convenience or tradition, it is a deeply symbolic act that maintains harmony with nature and promotes prosperity. Wood, as a carrier of earth energy, helps create a space for calm, confident growth and accumulation of finances, which reflects key principles of the Buddhist understanding of abundance and well-being. To enhance financial well-being, it is important to incorporate prosperity affirmations into your daily life. Choose one or two powerful phrases, such as, I am a magnet for wealth or prosperity flows freely to me, and repeat them regularly. These positive statements can be spoken out loud when you open or organize places to store money, such as putting away a wallet or box designated for finances. Saying affirmations when you touch your finances helps to attune your mind to the flow of abundance. This creates a strong connection between the material and energetic aspects of your well-being. The process doesn't just become mechanical, 
Through the repetition of affirmations such as, I am open to prosperity, you strengthen the belief that you are worthy of abundance and that money comes to you easily and harmoniously. You can also use affirmations in the process of visualization, imagining money growing and multiplying in a positive energetic environment. For example, while placing money in a wooden box or other auspicious place, imagine the energy of prosperity filling your home. These actions help you maintain a focus on abundance and avoid negative thoughts associated with scarcity. The impact on our financial lives is enormous, and understanding these lessons can be an important step in transforming your relationship with money and attracting the abundance you deserve. Choosing the right places to store money, as well as adopting practices of gratitude and energy clearing, play a key role in attracting prosperity. It is important to remember that ultimately, we are the creators of our own destiny. Money does not rule our financial lives. We do, with our choices and attitudes, determining the direction in which our finances evolve. Gratitude practices, positive visualization, and holding an energetic space are powerful tools that open new paths and create opportunities. However, they must be accompanied by a proactive attitude and decisive action. Prosperity is not only something we attract, but also something we create through persistence and dedication. Discipline, courage, positive vibrations, and an abundance mindset play important roles, but it is action that turns this energy into real results. Whether through hard work, continuous learning, or seeking out new opportunities, our choices shape the future we desire. Every small decision, from investing our time and money to responding to challenges, contributes to our financial destiny. With the teachings discussed in mind, remember, you are the master architect of your future. Maintain a high vibration of gratitude, but also take responsibility for your actions and decisions. Only you can walk the path to true abundance. Be the driving force behind your success by understanding how important it is to choose the right places to store your money. Now that you have this knowledge, it's time to apply it. Think about the places in your home where your money is. Do they align with the energies of prosperity and security that you desire? Small changes can make a big difference. As you implement these practices, you will begin to notice improvements in the flow of wealth and opportunities that come into your life. Remember to also practice daily rituals, gratitude, energetic clearing of storage areas, visualization, and prosperity affirmations. Your financial life will grow if you make these practices part of your daily routine. I invite you to continue this exciting journey to prosperity with me. If you found this content helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss new videos. Share in the comments what practices you would like to implement in your life first. Let's strive for financial well-being and abundance together.